You're gonna find out here shortly. Alright. Once we get over here around the corner. Right. What we're talking about. Sounds good. This is the coolest cop car in all of the 50 states. You think so? Hands down. Alright. Not only is it cool, yeah. it's good for the environment. Wrong channel, this one. Bam, there it is. Hey guys, today I'm excited to announce that the Safer Watch app and Nick Off Duty have partnered, and the Safer Watch app is gonna sponsor today's video. Safer Watch is a mobile app that gives you a direct line to law enforcement so you can report suspicious activity, crime tips, and even online threats such as a school shooting threat. There's also tons of other category shortcuts that I'm gonna let you guys go to the app and explore yourself. So not only can you send text messages, but you can send photos, videos, screen recordings, audio recordings to your local law enforcement agencies. Since the app's launch has already helped stop and prevent school shootings, it's helped prevent suicides, and it's even helped put away serious crime offenders. The app works. Now the amazing thing about this app is not only do you send messages and tips, but you also receive real-time alerts and notifications from your local law enforcement agencies that are utilizing SaferWatch app. All right guys, enough is enough. If you wanna learn more about the SaferWatch app, visit saferwatchapp.com. You can go there, see if your local law enforcement agency is utilizing the program. If not, contact them, let them know, hey, you guys need to get on SaferWatch. You can also download the app in the App Store, whether it be Apple or Android. It's a free app, so what are you waiting for? SaferWatchApp.com. If you see something, say something, then send something. All right, let's get back to the... Before we go, make sure you stay to the end of this video. Trust me, you're not gonna regret it. All right, let's get back to the video. What is going on, guys? Last day in Cali and I got a surprise for you. You guys might know this guy, he's another police vlogger. Matter of fact, he is the first police vlogger on YouTube and you can do your research and find out. Yes, that is the truth. Uh, we're in California. You guys saw California Highway Patrol. So I said, hmm, I know somebody who works for LAPD. So he said he was down to the ground for the YouTube collab. I'm waiting for him out here in the parking lot. He should be showing up shortly and then we're gonna get this vlog started. Take a look. He's sporting the crown pick. What's up, good human? Officer Rob! Doing, What's up, my brother? How's everything, man? Come on, we gotta go. Uh oh, we gotta go. We're on a covert mission, man. Uh -oh. Covert mission. You can't tell anybody. Oh. It's a super secret. I, what do you? What do you got in this thing? Man? Don't judge me by my luggage, there, man. Yeah, I like it. Pattern gun. All right, this has got to be the most sickest Uber ride that I've ever done in my life. Let's ride. Let's ride. <laughs> Officer Rob! What's up, guys? Man, I gotta tell you, you got a sweet ride, man. I'm loving the Vix. Thanks, dude. This is a Crown Victor. This is a 2006 Crown Victoria Police Interceptor, yeah. also known as the P71. Okay. The CVPI. Okay. The 4.6 liter modular uh, V8 engine, uh, body on frame, rear wheel drive. <laughs> Cop car. It's a uh, cop uh, car. Uh, it's got cop brakes, uh -huh. cop tires, uh -huh. cop suspension. Boom. We got a full tank of gas. We're on a mission from God. Nice Blues Brother reference. Hell yeah. So, Officer Rob, I know you. We've known each other for years now through YouTube. Yes. Uh, fun fact first policed vlogger, and you can quote me on that. You could take it to the house. You could take it to uh, Mike the 401 or whoever these guys, other guys are. You can take it to all those guys and tell them, I said it, first YouTube vlogger. Put some respect on my name. When y'all saying my name, put some respect on it. We're the first police agency to be on YouTube. 
I think we came like second after you. Yeah. Um, but first, got to pay your respect to you that man. When I started that doing, man paved the way. When I started doing the YouTube videos, as far as I know, there was no one else on there. No, no law enforcement officer doing vlogs, and specifically, I was doing motor vlogs. Yeah. Or biker vlogs, vlogs on my motor police motorcycle. There was no one else doing it. And, yeah. You know, I didn't start off on Vine. Oh. oh. No, he's a. Uh, YouTuber, it was like a motor vlog. Uh, how about this? Go check out his channel. It's Officer Rob, right? Officer Rob. I'm sure you guys already know about him. A lot of you guys might know about him. A lot of you guys might not. But if you don't, he's pushing 100K. I'm close. 100K so thousand close. subscribers. So go check him out. I'll put the link somewhere here or it's here. Or it's just, it's somewhere. It's going to be somewhere. But uh, that's your channel. You're in, you were in motors. What are you in now? What's going on? I'm in, uh, we call it air support division. So okay. it's our helicopter unit and uh, we provide support to the units on the ground, the coppers on the ground. And, uh, you know, basically we're just two cops in a cop car that happens to be five or 600 feet off the ground. Nice. So we work the call from up there. I already knew that because he posts pictures and stuff on Instagram. If you guys aren't following him on Instagram, you should go, go check him out on all social media platforms. I'll put them all down below. He posts some cool pictures from the air of LA, Dodger Stadium. I love it. I've seen it, cool yep. stuff. Um, so now you're in the air air unit. So the you're not doing the motor vlogs anymore for the police department, right? Because well, you're not on the motor anymore. If uh, for those of you that do follow this channel, uh, there's a character on there. My bike, my personal bike, my personal motorcycle. Uh, it's a 2013 Kawasaki uh, KZ1400 GTR Concourse. Uh, it's a long name. <laughs> <laughs> I call it Doc. Darkness, darkness, ah, everybody. Yes. Say hello to ah, darkness. Anyway, <laughs> I, I ride that bike on my days off to go to movie, uh, television, motion picture, and film shoots where I work off duty in uniform, providing uh, security and uh, basically it's a uh, permit and uh, enforcement for the film shoots in LA. All right. That's how I get to do that. And that's what the bulk of the videos are doing now. Cool. So you, you just, it's kind of like. Uh, Shooting the breeze. That's it. Shooting the breeze. We, just, we talk about a lot of motorcycle stuff, safe riding tips and tactics and tricks, uh, how to be visible, you know, gear, that type of thing. Um, and then I'd like to get into this is the this is the direction I'd like to go into. Okay. Because it's it like urban exploration. Oh. If anybody's ever heard of Huel Hauser, I want to do like Huel Hauser stuff on a bike. I've seen Doogie Hauser. Not Huel Hauser. Not the same thing. Not the same thing. I didn't ask. Are you going to be a doctor, man? <laughs> so, Rob, where are you going to take me today? Uh, I'll tell you where we're going to go today. I see on your channel you're doing this cool cop car stuff. Yeah, the police cars episode. I might have some cop car stuff, some police car stuff to show you. Nice. Let's go look at some cop cars. All right. So, uh, where are we going? Uh, LAPD headquarters, something like that? Uh, yeah. Um, an undisclosed location uh, in and around uh, downtown Los Angeles. Oh, there it is. Still a little sliver of it left. I'll turn it down. We fun fact it. What what is that? That's our old police headquarters. Oh. And then and they're turning it down because they couldn't retrofit it for earthquakes and stuff. It was too far gone. We have the new headquarters now, so they're like, yo, we're turning this thing down. Chopper right there. Is that one of your birds? That's one of our birds. We have 19 of them and one fixed wing aircraft, also known as an airplane. Dude. Tell me we're going up in the bird. No? Uh, no. You know what, dude? I'm on vacation, man. Uh, but I'm on vacation. I'm not working. You. And when I we threw this together short notice. I didn't know you were coming to town until just recently. Uh, so I want to give you a proper ride along in the helicopter. So that's gonna hook you and make you come back next time and you can ride with me. Because I want you riding with me. I don't want you riding with somebody else. Hook, line, and yes. sinker. I'm in. We're in. <laughs>
with it. Nick, let me tell the Nod Squad what we're dealing with here, dude. All this right. is a 2016 Tesla Model S Elon Musk Special, Woo. right? It is a fully functioning, well, it's in the final stages right. of being set up as a fully functioning Los Angeles Police Department patrol vehicle. You heard me right, patrol. So that thing is gonna be out on the streets? This thing is gonna be out on the streets. Wow. The city's trying to be the first uh, department, the first city in the nation to go with an all green fleet of police vehicles. And it's very possible that if this works out, it's a test vehicle. Right. It's a test Tesla. Right, a test Tesla. It's a test Tesla. Right. So if it works out, very well could see a car like this or this car out on the streets of LA patrolling, protecting, and serving. So right now, utilizing it as like a community engagement for the meantime? Right now, it's a community outreach type of vehicle. It goes to functions, car shows, that type of thing. Yeah. Um, you know, photo type things. They're using it for that type of thing, community relations yeah. type of thing now. But they're, I'm telling you, it's got everything. It's got, it's got a full, fully functioning light bar. Right. It's got the automatic license plate recognition readers, cameras. ALPR cameras right. on this bad boy. Four of them, I yeah. see it. Look at this. Coming around. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Because I've never been in one of these before, oh, okay. but I, I'm a, I mean, I'm a motor cop, so I don't. How do you, how do you get in? There? I think it's on that side. You gotta uh, probably go over there. And... Yeah, I'll go over here and check it out. Uh, uh, how do you... No man. I've never been in one of these, George. Maybe you reach in. I'll just open it from the inside. That's what I used to do with my old uh, my Monte Carlo, anyway. What no. the? <laughs> I don't think it's that either. Uh, <laughs> all right, well, we're in. Like, you right. went right into like a, a put the hood up and yeah, take off mode. Yeah, I'm an Angelina. It's like you've done that before. All right, so all right. Looking, in, looking inside the car. Yeah, still not working. Still can't get in it. Anyone, uh. Oh, okay, so what? Thank you, Steve. Ah, look at that. <laughs> ah, the gatekeeper. Thank you. Appreciate the gatekeeper. it. Look in the back. All right, looking in the back. You might remember this from your Crown Victoria days, mm -hmm. but we have the. Uh, Antibacterial uh, rear back seat. Oh yes, the comfort covers. of our customers. It also has a partition. Mm -hmm. So it is upfitted to be a patrol car, like you yeah. said. Yes, sir. You weren't lying. Everything, ballistic panels on the doors. Ballistic panels on yes, the doors. Sir. Yes, sir. That's awesome feature to have. You don't really see that in, typically in a lot of police cars, but it's a great tool to have in a police car. Ballistic yep. doors. A little bit of added safety for the officers out there in the street. So uh, inside, it's just your standard oh. LAPD. Check this out. Oh, what do we got? Shotgun rack, Ooh. rifle rack. Ooh. How many Teslas have you seen with a shotgun rack? I don't got a shotgun and an M4 rack. I don't know, man, but those usually typically don't go together. Yeah. But that's right. We're breaking the mold here, LAPD. Right. Yep. Hey, coming back, 19 inch rims. Got the alloy rims on here that come with it. It's black and white, standard LAPD uh, paint configuration on a black and white police vehicle with the city seal, the shop number, and the motto. Okay. And then coming on back up on top of the car, we call the we call our cop cars shops. Okay. That's LAPD lingo for you in case you didn't know it. They got shops. It. Shops. This is shop one five one. One five one. That's right. Nice. And coming back, you got the uh, emergency call nine one one. Here's the badging model Tesla S seventy D. And uh, you got the shop number again. And boom. Wait a minute. Hey, we're all. Plug. <laughs> Plug. Yes. Yes. There yeah. goes there goes air support that... flying overhead. Today, he's just showing us the Tesla. <laughs> LAPD is always hiring, right? Always looking for good men and women to come on board and work with us. It's a great city to work with, be a cop in, and to work in. And uh, you know what? By the time you go through the process and get hired, who knows? Maybe you'll be driving this car. This could be your car. What are we doing? The junk in the trunk, or are you gonna show us the engine? Ha. I'll show you the engine. Oh, yeah, I'll pop the hood and show you this powerhouse of an engine. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Ready? There it. Well, right here, dude. You got the uh, charging equipment here, the stuff that you plug in. It's an electric car, dude. There ain't no engine in this no bad boy. Engine. Oh my God. So twice. you got two trunks. Wow. The junk in the front trunk, uh -huh. which is going to be all your uh, connector cables and chingaderas and all that stuff. Okay. You want to plug it into the wall uh -huh. or plug it into your neighbor's wall, depending on... <laughs> Run a, a long orange cord, is that yeah. it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, again, it's not complete yet. It's not ready for patrol work. If it were, yeah. it would be outfitted with uh, stop sticks. Okay. It would be outfitted with flares, crime scene tape, all that kinds of different stuff that police officers use. And they took plenty of room to throw their gear in here and their duty bags and all that stuff. So the stop sticks are standard issue? 
Well, they come in every black and white police car. Yeah, oh, everyone has them. Nice. They don't. They couldn't figure out how to put it on my motorcycle. Ah. So you wear it as a chain? Yeah, I like had like a, a Mr. T necklace. There you go. Uh, and then uh, down below is the guts of it all down here. If you want to pull this up here and you can see this is where all the electronics and uh, stuff goes. Brains. Yeah, that's the brains of the operation. All right. So all the computer stuff, that's how it's wired. Yep. And it's protected there. And Kent State keeps isolated and stuff down there. So. All right. There you go. So Rob, you're like six one, six two, six two, six two, sorry, baby. Sorry to cut you down, man. <laughs> now, okay, so they're testing this vehicle. Right. Well, not even yet. It's going to be a test vehicle to see if it's even feasible to have an all-electric vehicle as an everyday, 24/7 black and white police vehicle out on the streets of LA. One thing I can tell you right now, getting in and out of this car just in my civvies. It's tough for a big guy. Yeah. If I'm wearing a Sam Brown gun belt with the bolstering on these seats, I can already tell you there's going to be an issue. So maybe a little bit of customization. There's going to be a lot of customization, I think, on these black and whites. Right. But I like where the city's going. I like how they're thinking. Yeah. And I and what other cities talking about an all green police fleet? I don't know, man. It's pretty sweet. It doesn't even stop there, dude. Fire engines, ambulances. Ooh, ambulance. Ambulances. You name it, dude. <laughs> you know, the sky's the limit. Yeah. Man. Oh, sky. Speaking of sky, how hey. about an electric helicopter? <laughs> no. Uh. That's called. <laughs> hey, that's called a drone, and that, that kicks me out of a job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, inside we got standard Tesla, even though I've never been in one. Giant screen right here, GPS style. We got your uh, Everlong Foo Fighters in the mix there. Oh yes, nice. Yeah. Uh, I see you got a, a dash cam here. Yes. Sweet. This is the uh, in-car camera, and here's the monitor for the in-car camera. And uh, check this out. Let me see if I can turn it up. Hold on. Let me turn it up a little bit more so maybe you guys can see. Bam, there it is. Check this out. This whole time, camera one and camera two have been recording. Ooh. Uh, but there is no audio. No audio. Yeah. So we can dub an audio. Yes. Maybe yes. like the old kung fu movies? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mama! As you, as, you <laughs> as you touch things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So moving on. Bam. Police radio. Police radio. Tune to central frequency. Let's Send see if it even works. Let's see if we can hear it. Radio check. Nope. Where's the audio coming out of? Where's the speaker? I don't know. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> it's magnetic. Remember in the old Crown Vic days, they would drill two holes in the dash yeah. and it would stick it right here? Yeah. No, nah, man. We got magnets for that kind of stuff. Ooh. Step in the game wow. up with the magnets. Wow. Bam. Wait. Bam. Wow. There it is. All right. I like it. So oh, look at that. Adjusting the steering yes, wheel yes. for the big guy, so you do have yes. room. Yes, I You do. just got to figure out how to work it. That's right. Read the manual, man. RTM. Right. RTM. Read, Read the, the manual. manual. That's right. Looks like you got a little PA speaker down there by the floor. Oh, okay. That's where the radio would come out. And uh, this is your MDC, like you say, right? Yes, sir. All right. Now, I misspoke earlier. I thought the MDC was going to use... This, screen. this, which in the Explorers, the Ford Explorer Police Interceptor package, yeah. they started off with these screens, right. and then they integrated them to the, the dash. I forget what they call them, but the, the TV and the dash of the okay. car. Yeah, nice. Uh, so for now, I guess we're still using this. All right, but again, prototype going to be used soon. Probably not going to be this exact uh, layout, but more or less. Yes. But pretty yep. sweet on the inside. Yep. Yep, and the good folks over at MTD Motor uh, Transport Division is telling me that this is going to end up on the west side somewhere. Okay. So you Hollywood coppers or you West Latte coppers, yeah. uh, be on the lookout, man. Try to go to the kit room and get Shop 151 if you can. Somebody's going to get lucky. <laughs> Dude, check it out. So Sig Valor Light Bar, right? Yep. All the brand new cop cars are getting it. It's latest and greatest. Cutting edge technology. Check it out. Pretty standard controller. It's the Smart Controller Series B. One click to the right gives you your rear flashers. Two clicks over is the red and blue light in the front. And then three clicks over is all the lights. So with the lights on top, you also got the front 
headlight with wags going back and forth. LED. Wig wag. Wig wags. Wig wag. Wig wag. Officer Rob. Well, there he is. The What'd man, the myth, think, the dude? legend. Listen, I know you pulled strings to get a look at this thing. There's a long waiting list, guys. Uh, no joke to just get a glimpse at this thing and you pulled strings, yeah, I'm in it, town. It wasn't easy to get our hands on the Tesla. I wanted to thank a few people, uh, Community Relations Division, Recruitment Division, Motor Transportation Division, Officer Julie Noni, thank you so much, George, thank you. Thanks Steve Cervantes and everybody for showing us the car today. It wasn't easy and they took time out to uh, show us the car so everybody in the nod spot could check it out. Sweet, Yeah. Hey, sweet. so let me ask you something, dude. You, uh, I know you do that challenge coin giveaway thing on your channel, is that Yeah, true? It's, uh, you got something? I got a challenge coin, man. What nice. do you think, dude? We gonna do it? Nice, let's do it. All right, all right, guys, so let's take a look at this sweet coin and then I'm gonna tell you how you're gonna win it. All right, check it out. It's a LAPD limited edition LAPD motor coin because I'm a motor at heart. I'm just a motor cop in a flight suit, man, that's it. it. Once a motor man? Always a motor man. Big city motor cop, baby, represent. Right. Check out on the back here, you got the wheel and the arrow. Nice. So, I don't know if you saw the vlog that I did at work. One of our motor guys knew who you were. Yeah. That was Sergeant Delamico. And have you heard of uh, Officer Rob? Little shout out. Yes, I have. You have heard of Officer Rob? Yes, I have. On YouTube? Yes, I have. LAPD. That's it. Hey, Officer Rob, big shout out. If you guys aren't following Officer Rob, Make sure you go to his channel and follow him. Cool guy, right? Cool guy. Cool guy. So Officer Rob, uh, Sergeant Delamico says, so. Sergeant Delamico, what's up, baby? Anytime you come out to LA, I got a ride in a helicopter waiting for you, sir. There you go, yes, Sarge, sir. hooking you up. <laughs> All right, so here's how you're gonna win one of these bad boys. You're gonna have to first, while you're on YouTube, subscribe to this channel, then go to Officer Rob's channel. I'm gonna link all these steps down below so you guys can just follow the steps and click the links. Go to Officer Rob's channel, click subscribe, and then head on over to Instagram, follow Officer Rob on Instagram, and while you're over there, follow me. Again, all the links down below. And once we post a trailer to this video, you're gonna have to go and comment done on it. It's gonna be on his Instagram. Right. The trailer's gonna be there. That's a lot of steps, man. Comment section, click done. It's actually four, five steps. Okay. All linked down below. All right. So go on one link, Do click it. it. Go on the next link, click it. It's simple. Very cool. So do you know the Nod Squad sign off? Come on, man. I'll see you when I see you. And if I don't see you, then I'll see you. And until next time, watch your six and be good humans. Did I do yeah, that right? Did I do it? There you go, you got it. Not right. Squad represent. Sarah Connor, I'm from the future. Get to the chopper! Get to the chopper! Need the motor and get to the chopper! Yeah, you need to get off the bike. You need to get to the chopper. Get to the chopper right now! <laughs> Can't use any of that. <laughs>